And hello friends, welcome to another video. This is Miami CO, Indiana. Today I'm going to do a short video explaining the difference between suction and airflow when it comes to vacuum cleaners. This is my Quantum X water trap vacuum. It has a quart of water in it. That's its only filter. But I'm going to turn this vacuum into a mini version dry vacuum. And how I'm going to do that, this is the hose that's attached to this vacuum. And I'll show you how I'm going to turn the water trap vacuum into a little mini version of a dry type vacuum. This is a coffee filter. If I take this off here, that's going to be my little mini bag for my cleaning. Put that on. And now I've turned my water trap vacuum into a little mini bag type vacuum. If you use a bag sweeper, your bag is actually made of paper similar to this. If you use the one that has a dirt cup that you empty, like this, this is going to represent the filters that you have on your machine, like this. And what happens to the suction and airflow once they get dirty? So anyhow, our bag is brand new and clean in here, so we should be able to do some good cleaning. I have some cereal here. This is just the rice crisp cereal that's very lightweight, so we shouldn't have any trouble picking that up. Let's turn the vacuum on and first see if we have suction. And you see it sticks right to my arm. Suction's good. Do we have airflow? This is just a tissue. And yes, we have airflow. It's sucking the tissue in. Let's see if we can pick up the cereal. We did a good job, my little mini dry vacuum. Look, my bag was bit bigger, it would hold it all, but you see all the cereal got sucked right into the bag. Exactly what's supposed to happen. But this is what happens when bags get full and filters get dirty. So now we're gonna turn our little mini back and do a little cleaning on our rug here. Back on we go. cleaning up a storm and then this is what happens in dry vacuums. Once the bag gets coated with dirt, it doesn't have to be full of dirt. Just the coating of dirt in there and all the walls in the bottom, it restricts the airflow. So air is not coming in and it can't pick up even very light stuff like this. The solution to that is take your bag off and put a new bag in and guess what we'd be right back in business let's show you here's another coffee filter here so I'll make a new bag this would be like changing the bag on your cleaner putting a new bag in now let's see if we can pick up the cereal able to pick up the cereal again because our bag was new and clean and the airflow could go through. That is the difference between suction and airflow. It always has suction even when the bag is dirty or your filters are dirty, but suction is an absence of air and cannot do any cleaning or very little cleaning. But if you have the airflow, like a brand new bag, it'll pick the cereal right up. 
As soon as your bag gets coated with dirt, the air can't get through as good, your cleaning capacity goes down. That's why it's important if you have dry method of cleaning that these have got to be cleaned very regularly. If you have a bag type cleaner, the bag has to be changed on a very regular basis because once it starts getting coated with that, it's not efficient anymore. So I say seeing is believing. That's just a little demonstration on turning my Quantum X water trap vacuum into a mini version of a dry type vacuum cleaner. Now we'll t put this on with no bags or anything and you're going to see with the Quantum X now we're going straight to water. Now, quickly this will pick this up. You see how quickly that picks it up? Look at I don't have to be on it. When you use the water trap vacuum, there's no other filters. There's no bags, there's no cloth filters, paper filters, or anything. Everything goes in the water, stays in the water, and there's nothing to clog. So the airflow is always at 100%. And that's again why I like to use water trap vacuum cleaners. So if you got something out of this, I want to thank you for joining me again. If you're new to the channel, you like what you see, subscribe, you get a little tidbits like this every now and then and different things I do film and go over. I want to thank you for joining me today. Hope you have a great day. So long.